Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to today's video. Today, I've got a paper video for you. We're going to be taking a look at this. This is Ayush paper. It's all the way from India. And this is a nice fountain pen friendly paper. What we're going to do, we're going to have a quick look at the paper. We're going to compare it against some other papers. I'll do a little bit of writing, then I'll give you my final thoughts. So please join me down on the mat. Let's jump straight in. Welcome down to the mat. For this first portion, I'm going to have the pad sideways on. It's purely because this is an A4 notebook and I've got the camera as high in the air as I can and it still doesn't quite fit in. So I will change it when we do the writing samples. But for looking at the paper, I think this orientation is not too bad. This is Ayush paper. This is an A4 pad. It's made in India and as we go through, you'll see, but it's a really nice paper. I've really enjoyed using this. I've really enjoyed testing it. This paper has been sent to me by StarTech Imports. They're actually starting to import this into Australia now, which is really good because previously, if you wanted this paper, you had to order it from India and then have it delivered. Being able to buy it locally, I think that's going to make a big difference. I will put a link below. That's where you can go and have a look at the offerings they have. And I've got to be honest, yes, we haven't gone through the review yet, but it's some paper that I highly recommend that you buy. They've provided this to me free of charge. They're not paying me for the review. They're not telling me what to say. All the opinions, they're my own. So as I say, I use paper made in India. I'm going to turn this around, then I'll turn it back around. On the front here, we've got this nice, like a quill type thing with a fountain pen nib. Then we've got your fountain pen will love this paper. I think that's a really good and apt statement. I use paper. There we are. Let me pop this back there. I like this. It's got this plasticized cover on it. It feels nice and glossy. It's to me a nice dark green color, but throughout it, and I'm hoping that the camera will pick this up. We're seeing some orange bits and that's going all the way through. I turn it over to the back again we've got the same plastic material and I say I just love the pattern on this it's not flat it again it starts bringing interest to the notepad before we even start using it we've got a QR code I haven't actually tested the QR code so I don't know what it leads to I use paper their website details ruled and 100 GSM so 100 GSM paper the ruling on this is nine millimeters. My other A4 pads, the ruling is eight millimeters. So that's going to be something interesting. And again, I'm jumping ahead in the review. I quite liked this nine millimeter ruling. So this is made in India and the company itself that was launched back in 2012. Let's take a look. I'm just going to open at a random page. So here we go. Again, I'll just turn this around slightly just so you can see the ruling there. Just give that a couple of seconds and I'll go back because we want to try and fit the whole page in at the moment. The paper is a slightly off-white color. I wouldn't call it cream. It looks like it's some kind of unbleached paper. I like that. When I fetch in some of my comparison papers, they're bleached papers. And to me, there's this massive difference. I like this. It's not as in your face. It's not glaring at you. I say it's nine millimeter ruling. This is a nice wide ruling. I found this is really enjoyable. My handwriting is a little bit big. So I find even with the eight millimeters that it looks and feels like it's getting cramped when I'm doing multiple lines. With this, it's as if my writing gets time to breathe. Nice, enjoyable experience with that. 100 GSM paper, nice thick paper. It's got a nice feel to it. There's a bit of texture to the paper. So it's not like Rodeo where it feels like there's a coating. This, you can feel the texture. It's got a tactileness to it. So when you're writing, there's that little bit of feedback coming through that. I like that. I enjoy feedback in my writing. This particular pad, it's got 50 pages. So that's 100 sides. There are also some pads available which have got 100 sheets. One of the things I like about this, again, I'm just going to turn this around. At the top here, we've got the ring binding. That's nice, that rips off quite nicely. I've ripped a few pages out. But just below that, hopefully this will come over on the camera, 
it's micro perforated there along the top so you can actually gently tear each page out again it's a nice little touch if you want to use that micro perforation it means the top of your paper doesn't have all these holes in it i think that will look a little bit nicer i like that it's wire bound as you can see here there's the wire binding but when i lay it flat doesn't matter what page i have that lays nice and flat again it's a little touch but it makes a big difference so that's really the paper as it is as I said, I've enjoyed using this. I've used this now for over a week and I've found that no matter what pen I'm using, it's really nice. What we're going to do is we're going to do some comparisons. So I'll just move this to one side. The first one we're going to compare it against is a Rodia. 90 GSM paper, another A4 notepad. As I said, this one's got that paper which has been bleached. It's also got eight millimeter ruling. So yes, you get more lines on that page, but as I say, for my larger handwriting, I quite enjoy the extra space I get. Just move this to one side again. We'll also look at my standard notepad. This is my notebook of testing. This is Oxford Optic Paper. Again, it's 90 GSM paper. And it's another one. Nice bright white paper. I say, I find it can glare a little bit though. My final testing notebook is this. This was, again, A4 size. It's a cheap one. I bought it from the supermarket. I want to say it was about five or six Aussie dollars. Wasn't expensive. Let me just find a page without writing on. I've nearly finished this one. There we go. So cream paper this time. I'm fetching the Ayush paper. The Ayush paper now looks white compared to this one this was recycled paper but it's got that creamy color and to me that color often hides the ink but we'll take a look in a second what i've done for my comparisons is for the first few pens i've already written with them what we'll do is we'll take a look at these on all four papers then near the end we'll just take a look at the rhodia and the ayush paper because on there i've done a massive swatch of ink and then i'm also going to do some live writing on the ayush paper just so you can see how it performs. So let's fetch in the Ayush paper. Let's pop that to this side. What I've done is I've actually got two pages where I've done this pen writing. So the first six pens, that's the pens I'm using during May. And what I've done is try to use this because we've got some mediums, we've got a Bok medium, we've got a broad, and we've got a double broad, which is just slightly off the page at the moment. This is just to show you how it works with these. So I use paper, I really like them. You know, we can see here already, we've got plenty of shading coming through. Drying times, so my drying times that I do is I do the hash, then swipe straight away. I leave it 10 seconds, I leave it 30 seconds, I leave it for a minute. I've done this same test on all the papers. So I'm going to fetch in the Rodeo one now. So this is the Rodeo paper. Let's see if I can just get these all positioned all on one page. There we go. So if we're looking at these as a comparison, we've got the bright white there of the Rodia. As I say, personally, I find that this Ayush paper, that doesn't glare on my eyes as much. So it's a little bit nicer on my eyes. We've still got on both of them plenty of shading coming through. Really like it. I love the way this shading comes through and highlights, certainly, you know, with this dark energy. So night shade again. Martian, this is another really good ink for shading. And I see a lot of shading on both of them. So far, I'm not seeing much in the terms of difference between the two papers. Just gonna move these up slightly. With the Narwhal Key West with the Van Diemen Twilight Mist, I actually prefer the way the ink looks on here than it does on the Rodia. It looks a little bit darker. Now, I think that's a combination of the slightly darker tone of the paper, that off-white colour, but also I think it's to do with the paper as well. Because of the texture, what I noticed was the ink would soak in a little bit more on the Ayush paper, whereas with the Rodeo, with this coating, it sits on top of it and it doesn't have time to get really into the actual grain of the paper. So it still looks nice, but I just like this darker colour. If we look at the bottom one, this is with a double broad nib. 
This is one where I thought, well, maybe we'll see some issues there, but none. Still got a load of shading coming through. Still looks nice. As I say, compares really well with what I'm seeing on the road here. Drying times are comparable between them, no matter which ink I was using. Let's turn the page. Let's look at page at the back. The Ayush paper, nothing's shown through. Completely usable on both sides. I can actually see more through the paper with the Rodia than I can with the Ayush paper. Let's turn these over and look at some more. So I've got another Narwhal at the top. This is with Dimine H and Copper. I, again, it's an ink I thought, well, it normally shows some nice sheening. Between the two, I would say it's actually slightly wetter on the Ayush paper. But again, we're still seeing all that nice, gorgeous shading coming through. Heart of Darkness. Again, I wanted to test it with a nice black ink. More for the show through. Medium nib, so we get a good amount of ink on here. Again, it seems that it's slightly wetter here on the Ayush paper than it was on the Rodia. We've got a stub nib in there. Again, trying to test as much as I can with this. The Bennu Talisman. Let me just move these up, then we can see them better. This is a nice sheening ink. It's the first sheening ink I've tried on these. So hopefully the camera is catching this gorgeous sheen. And then again, if we go and look at the road here, again, we're seeing the sheen. To my eye, I'm still seeing some more sheen coming through on the Ayush than I do on the road here. We will take a look at another sheening ink in a minute. The last one is I've used my Pilot Custom 823 with Robert Oster Cafe Crema. So that's a nice pale brown ink, well, as you can see. Again, just look at all this gorgeous shading coming through. I would say I'm seeing more shading coming through on the Ayush than I am on the Rodia. Let me just get rid of this Rodia paper. On the reverse of that page with the Ayush, this is where I had Heart of Darkness. It actually seems to show through more on the Rodia, so it performed really well there. And then if we go down here, this is where I had that Bennu Talisman with the Diamond Garland. Slightly more dots coming through here on the Ayush paper than what I'm seeing over on the Rodia. Still usable though, that wouldn't stop me from writing on both sides. Let me get rid of this paper. So just quickly looking at some other papers. This is the Oxford Optic paper. So again, performs really nicely. When it comes to show through, still got the issue there with both the black and even worse with that diamine garland. Writing wise, you know, very similar. Again, especially if we look down near the bottom, I think here the shading is very similar between the two of them. And this optic paper, that's the one I normally use for all my tests. Final paper we're going to take a quick look at. This is A4 paper. This is my cheapo notepad. You know, even with the first page, we're starting to get show through. Second page, most of the inks there coming through. 80 GSM paper though, cheaper paper, $5. Means quite often with this, I find I can only use one side. I can't use both sides. I'm going to turn the page and we'll look at the last set of tests and compare that against the Rodia paper again. So what I've got here is, again, Rodia on the left my Ayush paper on the right. I've done two tests on here already. Then I'm going to show you some writing. So the first test, this is looking at Dimine All The Best, and I've done a massive swatch on both of these pages. So if we look over here on the road here, we can see, look at all that blue sheen. This was the first one that I swatched, so there would have been more sheen in the suspension. If we look here on the Ayush paper, Again, we can see that gorgeous sheen. Not as pronounced as what I'm seeing on the road here, but, chance, but that's likely because it would have settled a little bit whilst I was doing the first swatch. I then used my Serendipity dip pen, again with the same ink. So we're seeing here, we've got that Serendipity. Lot of sh shimmer coming through. Whereas over here on the Ayush, there's a little bit of shimmer. If I fetch it there, you can st still see that. 
But I can also see the base colour more. I actually quite like that because I think sometimes with the shimmer, you know, especially what I'm seeing here on the road here, that's all I can see. Whereas I do like to see that base colour. The next test that I did is I used a Caveco dip pen and I used it with Dye Mine Writer's Blood. I am not very good writing with a dip pen. You may be able to tell, but I wanted to throw it at this paper. I wanted to see how it performs. So you can see it's gone round, down really bad. There's lots of splotches. Less splotches on this second side, but still we've still got some nice thick writing. The idea is, is I want to see for sure through. That's why I wanted some really thick amount of ink. Similarly with that swatch, really. Let's turn these both over and see how they went. There's the Ayush. There's a Rodia. With the swatch, we've got a lot more showing through, haven't we, with the Rodia paper. So the Ayush paper does seem to have handled that really well. Same here with the writing. Yes, I know there wasn't as many splotches with the Ayush paper, but there's a lot more showing through there with that Rodia. Let's pop these back up. I'm going to put this more in the centre now. So the last test, I've already done this here on the Rodia. This is using Alami All Star with a 1.5 stub and Colt Pen's Little Pip. What I wanted to do here is see how well it does that sheening. So this is our baseline. This is on Rodia paper. Let's move that to one side. And I'm actually going to do some writing now. I like to see writing happening. So I'm right seeing it on paper. So we're going to do a, quite a bit of writing now for the last little bit of the video. So we've got here Alami All Star. And it's got that 1.5 millimeter. Colt pens. Little pip. I love this ink in this pen. I almost wrote pen there. That's what you get for talking whilst you're trying to write, Gary. Drying times. Immediate. 10 seconds. 30 seconds. Finally, one minute. So after a minute, you know, that's nearly dry. Let's write a sentence. I love the texture that's on this paper. I love the way it feels when I'm writing with it. Whilst we let this dry, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some more writing because at the end of the day, that's what we're interested in, isn't it? It's how it writes, how it feels when it writes. I'm going to write some quotes down. The first one, I'm going to move the microphone down so you can actually hear the pen writing on the paper. The rest of them on this page, what I'll do is I'll speed that up a little bit just so you can still see it writing, but it will go a little bit faster than normal. The pen I'm going to use for this it's this. This is a Pilot Custom 823 and it's got Robert Oster Cafe Crema. I chose this ink because it's a nice pale brown colour. So I thought, let's see how it performs on this off-white paper. So first, moving the mic. Now I'm going to do some more, as I say though, I'm going to speed this up slightly.
straight this page up. That's so nice. As I said, the texture behind this, you know, even with that gold nib on that 823, it's so nice. I can feel it coming through. I can feel the tactileness of it. And it's one of the things I like when I'm writing is the tactileness. Loads of glorious shading coming through. Just look at this. You know, look at that J there on Jean or Jean. Look at the G on good. This last sentence, there's so much coming through. It's just so interesting. To me, it's one of the things I like. It's I like the character you get from having a nice shading ink. Let's take a look back up here at the little pip. Can we see all that sheen coming through? You know, you can still see lots of purple. You can still see that nice background. But you've got this gorgeous gold sheen in there. Compare that with what we're seeing on the Rhodia. Here's a Rhodia paper. Still seeing some sheen. Again, to me, I do think I see more coming through on this Ayush paper, though. The final test I can't actually show you with. Let me just move my iPad out of the way. I know you can see that up at the top. That was where I was getting my quotes from. There is one final test. This is the most important test, and unfortunately, I can't show you it. I asked the wife to do some writing with it. So she said to me that she likes it. She felt it was very smooth when it was writing, and certainly I've seen that. She liked, again, similar to me, it's off-white, she liked that. One of the pens she did use was a Twisby Eco with a fine nib, and she did say that was a bit scratchy. Now, I've tested this with some fines, with some extra fines. I've noticed a little bit of scratchiness, but to me, I've enjoyed it because it's like that feedback, which I quite like. Let's take a quick look over on the opposite side where we've just been doing this writing. So here, we've got nothing showing through from where we were doing that with that 1.5 stub, which is good. And again, where I've just been doing with the 823, absolutely nothing coming through. Nothing to stop me using both sides of the page. All in all, I love this paper. It's really nice. It's nice to write on. I like that tactile nature of it. To me, that's important. I don't enjoy using Rhodia. I don't enjoy using Clairefontaine. And I do find that some of my pens, they do have some problems on there because it's so smooth. I get a lot of skipping. Haven't noticed any of that with this Ayush paper with this little bit of texture. When I've been writing, as we can see here, with this 1.5 stub nib, we can see here with the writer's blood, we can see here with the serendipity dip pen, had no issues with feathering. Very little show through. I saw more show through happening on the road here. We get nice shading and sheen. I would say similar to, if not slightly more than what I see on the road here. Shimmer inks, I think it shows up really well. I like the fact I can see more of the base colour. That's one of the things I like with my shimmer inks is to still see that base. I know I've said that already, but I want to stress that. This natural colour is so nice. It doesn't shine. It doesn't hit you in the face. It lets the ink shine through. It doesn't hide any of the features of the ink. I can still see it quite nicely. I quite like this 9mm ruling. As you can see with my writing sample here, you know, say my handwriting is fairly big, especially when I'm doing things like T's and I's and the G. By having that extra millimetre on each line, it's amazing the difference it gives. My handwriting doesn't feel squashed like it does when I'm using 8mm paper. In my testing, I've used a wide variety of pens and inks. I want to give it as much opportunity to show up what's happening, to try and find any issues with it. I haven't found anything really which I don't like. It's handled all the pens. It's had handled all the inks really well. All in all, I think this is a really pleasant paper to write with. It's nice. It's got that texture. Really love it. Check out StarTech Imports. The link will be below. They've got A4 size, A5, pocket size, some B5 sizes. They've got ruled, grid, dot and plain papers. Check them out. Give them a try. I don't think you'll be disappointed in this paper. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. What do you think to this Ayush paper? I'm really interested to play more with it. I've quite enjoyed this testing period I've been using. Please drop a comment down below. Let's kickstart the conversation. I'd like to say thank you to Peter from StarTech Imports for sending this for me to review. Please hit the thumbs up button every time you like, every time you comment, just helps with the YouTube algorithm. 
If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.